What's up, my sweethearts? What it do, everybody? What's up, my new subscribers? It's your girl, Jennifer M. Norellis. Welcome to our page, my sweethearts. I'm sorry if I sound like a man. It's early in the morning. Um, I got a video for y'all, so let's get into it. Let me get this together. Well, back here locally, family members rallied in front of the Greenwood County Courthouse as they called for justice for their loved ones who are no longer here. Family members say several homicide cases aren't getting solved and they want answers. Fox Carolina's Jennifer Phillips live in Greenwood where that rally took place. Jen? Hey, Cody, so that rally wrapped up not too long ago. It took place just behind me here on the front steps here at the courthouse. And so those who are part of the group, they say they want law enforcement in this area to create a designated cold cold case unit so those investigators can concentrate on these unsolved homicide cases. And they're also asking for sled agents to step in and help. For Cynthia Patterson, the emotional scars of losing her son may never heal. And it's just really heartbreaking. On June 4th, someone shot and killed her son, Zakevius Ramsey. Very sincere, very sweet, loving, caring. And even though the case is unsolved, she has a message for her son's killer. I do forgive you, but I just want you to just turn yourself in. She's one of several victims' family members who says she needs answers. She was like heaven, like her name. She was heaven. You meet her, she was joyful. Adair Brown is eight-year-old Heaven Frazier's mother. Deputies with the Greenwood County Sheriff's Office say Mike Frazier shot and killed his daughter, Heaven, and his girlfriend, Natasha McDonald, before he shot and killed himself. But Adair Brown and her family don't believe that. You got too many of these people, young people, older people getting killed. So during this rally sponsored by Black Lives Matter Greenwood, Black Lives Matter, they called for justice for victims. We want to highlight it, bring it back uh, to the forefront and uh, see if we can't get some of these cases solved. Bruce Wilson with Fighting Justice Together helped create this Black Lives Matter chapter. We're hoping that law enforcement understands that, that these families have been touched by this, uh, living with this, and uh, they need some answers. We talked to Jonathan Link, a spokesperson with the Greenwood Police Department. We want to get it done. We want, we want to solve it, and we want to get dangerous people off our streets. He says they need tips from the public. Anytime one of these things happens, our team of detectives comes in and... They start from the moment they get called in, and they don't go home sometimes for a day or a day and a half until they feel like they've exhausted things. But victims' families say they live with it daily. So we're told there are three unsolved homicide cases here in the city of Greenwood, and that hasn't been so within the past nine years. And so we also ask about the ratio. We're told there are 50 officers right now on the force and 2,300 people who live within the city limits. Live in Greenwood, Jennifer Phillips, Fox Carolina, the 5 o'clock news. My sweethearts, and that's the end of the video. Sorry about my crack phone, my day ones, they know what's up. Anybody that want to hate on my shit, look, you can get this work. I'm just saying. But sorry about the crack phone. As long as y'all can hear exactly what's going on. My sweethearts, your girl Jennifer M. Norellis, y'all. If you got anything, like, subscribe, share, 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 y'all. But if you want to comment, comment, y'all. And, uh, and I will respond back to that. It's your girl, y'all, and I'm out.